Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and I'll be right back with Getting to Know You episode 37 and one happy mail card. I'll see you in a sec. So welcome back everyone. As I said, this is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and today we're doing Getting to Know You episode 37. I'm going to open up a card and this is the video that you guys are going to enter as subscriber of the week if you're interested in entering. Now I know two of the days I was in front of my mom's tree and one day in my in front of my yarnscape. Uh, so there's actually two answers that you could give to enter and win possibly. So we'll see what kind of answers we get and I will pick the uh, subscriber of the week on Monday using the YouTube random comment picker. Now this is going to be a short video because as you can hear, I don't really have much of a voice and I'm really straining to even have this much of a voice. So let's get, we're going to do uh, getting to know you first. So um, there's only a couple of points. First of all, thank you so much from both my mom and I for all of the Christmas wishes. We did have a wonderful Christmas um, and it was nice and relaxing and we made, you know, several of the dishes. We actually told you what dishes we were going to have on one of our videos from our other channel, Natalie and Mom's Kitchen. So um, feel free to go on over there and see the two Christmas dishes that we did on um, um, on camera for you guys, as well as us having let you know what it is that we had as part of our dinner. <clears throat> okay, so getting to know you. Um, one, when I asked you guys with the fabric glue how that works and is it gonna sh have um, like crunchy spots or hard spots on it, uh, Dawn answered that and she said, um, uh, you'll be able to feel it a little as it's drying, but once it's dry, it'll be fine. There won't be any crunchy spots. So that's good to know. Although now that I have, you know, the next hour or like three or three and a half weeks to work on it, I'm planning on sewing in the ends, not cutting them off. So, but it's good to know. And I may pick some fabric glue up at some point so that I can, you know, try it and see for myself how it is. So thank you for that answer, Dawn. And then with having talked about um, um, Marina Wool on Monday, uh, MP King um, mentioned about Angora, that Angora is actually warmer than any wool. And I, I looked it up and that's true. It's six times warmer than any wool, which I thought was amazing. And I'll go into that more when I actually cover other wools and or doing the um, comparison between Angora and wools. But I thought that was fascinating that Angora is um, warmer than wool. And they said based on, and this is all information based off of their own rabbits. Uh, and I guess they also said that um, they don't felt even when not groomed, which I thought was cool. And when they do shear their rabbits, there are no felt spots. So that's kind of cool too. And, but get this, they said that when they shear their rabbits, they get about two pounds of fur, which is um, kind of, you know, crazy considering the rabbits are less than 10 pounds in themselves, but yet they get two pounds of fur. I mean, what? That's craziness. But I think that I thought that was interesting information. So I wanted to share that with you. But as far as Angora and warmth and stuff, we'll cover that on um, one of the Let's Talk uh, episodes on a Monday after a tour. And then um, I wanted to say that I am so excited at how excited and how much you guys are enjoying the local yarn shop tour. Several of you said you, died, you don't have any local yarn shops near you or even within driving distance. So this is really exciting for, the, for you and you're really enjoying it. You have no idea how much, how happy that makes me and how excited, more excited I am with doing that series. So thank you so much for letting me know that you guys are really enjoying it. And then as far as any kind of questions, um, Beth made a valid point and asked if I could please check the accessibility in the local yarn shops uh, to see what kind of accessibility they may have for anybody that may be handicapped or have any mobility issues, whether walking with a walker or, you know, having a wheelchair. So that is a great point. Um, with Stash and St. Pete, honestly, I didn't notice, but I'm going to ask them about it. They may have had something in the back 
Um, but I am going to find, well, two of the other um, yarn shops were first floor, like that you would just walk right in. There's no steps or anything. Uh, the other one does have steps, but I didn't notice if there may have been a ramp on either side of the walkway. So I will find that out. But thank you so much. I will make sure to check that out because even though you may not be going to those stores, you may visit it one day. But if you're letting people know when they have mobility issues, you can let them know whether or not they will have a problem. Uh, so thank you, Beth. I do appreciate that. And then, um, Chris, I absolutely love the question you had for me. I mentioned that I really like that some of these local yarn shops uh, support local businesses. And she asked me if I have ever considered, or if I have considered maybe adding tours of the um, dye studios in my um videos of dye studios in my tours and i hadn't but that's a great idea um i don't know if they all would be willing to because i'm sure they have their processes and stuff that they like to you know keep to themselves uh, but i am going to check into at least one that i know of that's local but i am going to find out about a couple others and reach out to them you never know maybe they'll let me go in and um check it out but that is it. Uh, I, I actually don't have any questions for you. I um, was thinking of one and then I forgot to finish thinking about it. But we are going to be going on. Well, that's not until next weekend. Next weekend, we're going to go on another tour. We were going to go to two um, tomorrow. But with the way I'm feeling right now, it, it's just like a sinus infection. It's nothing major, but uh still my head just my sinuses feel really full and stuff and plus with my throat i don't necessarily want to sound like this on a tour video uh so we're good we were going to go to two tomorrow but we're going to do that the not next weekend but the following weekend so i still have three other ones don't worry there's plenty for monday and the following week but um anyway thank you so much oh wait the card hello forgot about it <clears throat> i'm glad i had it next to me so this is from laura lee and, um, or Laura, yeah, <clears throat> sorry guys, I'm going to have to take a sip of water because my throat is really dry right the second. And, um, I like on the back, she put on there sealed with a wet sponge and then, um, I had a sticker. I thought that was really cool. And for my Christmas, any of the Christmas cards that I sent out, it was actually, they were all, well, actually all of my cards. They're sealed, you know, those little, um, like the bottles that have like the glue or whatever it is inside and the sponge on the end. That's how I seal my, my envelope. So you don't have to worry about that. Oh, I love this card. Look at that. Santa Claus. He looks happy. I love it. Oh, wait, there's something else in here. Okay. Wow. The, okay. There's a long note in here. So I'm going to um, read that after I get off or off, off camera. But the card itself says, wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, okay, so I think this is a watercolor from what I read quickly. But I have, I don't know if any of this is good, if she says anything in here. But um, look at this. Isn't this beautiful tutorial by Emma? Um, I can't read the last name. Lefebvre, Lefebvre, I'm not sure. I can't take full credit, but I did use a little artistic license. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful watercolor? That is stunning. Thank you so much. <clears throat> that is beautiful. And I'll read the note in the card. Maybe it says something in there. But this is beautiful. Very, very pretty. I'll show it to you one more time. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Thank you so much, Laura. Oops. Laura Lee, I really appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. And of course, this card is going to go up on my on my wall. I still have to put up the other ones, but um, thank you so incredibly much, everybody, for all of your Christmas cards and all of your Merry Christmas wishes for us. Uh, we both very much appreciate it. I actually posted a picture of our um, of our serving uh, of our um, place settings on my uh, Yahoo channel. I'm sorry, my Facebook. Um, group. So if you guys want to check that out, it's Natalie's Closet Fiber Arts Community. The link is in the description box below, but I'll write it across the screen also. So if you guys want to join my Facebook group, if you're not already a member, you guys would be, you'll be able to see um, 
our place settings that we had for our Christmas dinner. So thank you all so incredibly much. I hope you guys can hear me okay. Uh, I will be back on Monday with tour number two, and we'll be talking about BFL. So um, have a great rest of your Friday. Have a great weekend. Stay safe and healthy. Love, hugs, and prayers to everybody. Extra prayers for those who need it. Miley says hi and bye to her peeps, and my mom says hi. Actually, you can say hi if you want. Hi, everyone. <laughs> How are you? Happy okay. New Year to you all. Okay, so mom says hi and Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everybody. I hope you guys are having a fabulous year so far. And uh, remember, for every season, there's a reason to crochet. And um, I will see, or you guys will see me on Monday. Have a great night and a great weekend. I love you guys, and thank you so much for all of your support. Oh, yeah, if you're new and you happen to still be here, thank you very much. But if you could hit the subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell next to that. And if you guys would be willing to give this video a thumbs up as well as comment and share, I would greatly appreciate it. So have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye.